You're shaking your head. What is the... I'm just so surprised. Oh, Reckless is playing Ash as well. <laughs> He's been playing <laughs> this a lot in solo queue. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing this. <laughs> solo laners cannot afford to go mid to late. Exile and Caps trading very heavily. I don't know if Caps fully was aware of that. You can win this. Can win this. Back. Cleanse comes out. Twin Fangs available. Exile and Caps trading. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. He was out of mana. He was out of mana. And Exile was just waiting for the Q. Oh. Watch the top lane as we talked about. The cocoon misses. Broxa Ward comes down. The Fangs get sunk in. The Feral Scream for silence. Rupture comes up. Broxa gets a smite for HP. Repel up. Xerxe down. Now, all of a sudden, the Krugs actually helping out. Turn a lot of damage oh! around. Xerxe, what was that? Yeah, the fact he repelled to that minion was so great. <laughs> right after, so things can happen. Insta flash from Brox today, guys. Two man knock out the grounded from the Miasma. Xerxes down. The freest kill ever. Exile's gonna use that assassin's path to escape, but this has nothing to do with ganking mid lane. Exactly, that's the thing. He was not ganking mid lane, he was invading for Raptor Camp, and Broxa lands another crazy good knockup onto this Elise. He's gonna get a kill in return. He will I indeed. Don't know about that. Some damage from oh. Exile. The rake has come out. Noxiumbol diplomacy. Nope. Rob nope. Nope. <laughs> gonna get sidestep. If Exile can get a good combo down, the Q might just be enough. He needs mana. Broxa needs mana. So, so scary. He's just gonna back. <laughs> Is this actually happening? Yep. Whoa! I actually think... Whoa, top, 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 top! Hey. All right, visit Chachi. Not going to find the kill. How does Soaz always do it? Samix. Hey, nope. They know it. Yes, no. Rupture manages to catch on to Samix. Ashera does as well. So there's the flash death sentence. Jesus it was a yes. is God! <laughs> they did, in fact, hard. fall for it. Pretty good set. We won, and obviously didn't manage to secure it. Got the flash draw, and now it is Tower Whistle die bot lane. Exile is still alive. And that was the trade that Vidius was talking about. Miasma comes down, prevents Exile moving anywhere. Tower first blood picked up by Fnatic. Soas tries to defend this tower. Gets caught by some caustic spittle. All that armor gets deleted. And Churchy! Hoo hoo hoo! By this things happen. Hellasang is now grouped up mid. Where's the rest of the team? We want to see them make a fight. All right, Caps needs to get to this lens, and can he find the target? Uses the cleanse. Death sentence slows down Samus damage on the back end. Petrifying oh, Gaze is nice. fantastic. Exile. And Caps manages to escape. Not enough, though. A feral screen comes up. That will silence down nom, Exile. Nom, 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 nom. Feast is on cooldown. Not even needed. Down on the remainder of the fight. Now, all of a sudden, you are... Now, level 11 completed the Dusk Blade. I don't think this is safe. Well, Teleport actually completes a visit. Chachi, death sentence as well. Silenced and poisoned. I think you're right. Caps easily picks up a kill onto the unsafe TP. And Unicorns of solo laners who needed to snowball the early game have not really done that. Oh, uh, here come Fnatic. I think the faithful will be happy. The silence, the ash arrow, and the stun. Fnatic get their seventh kill of the game, their third tower and a 3,000 gold lead. Petrifying Gaze catches out Xerxes. He's silenced, grounded, can't get anywhere. Caps goes down to exile. That's at least something for UOL. Visit Chachi gets another onto Jizzes. Reckless Brox and so is going to back away. UOL at least find a few kills. So, I mean, there is a slight bright side for the Unicorns of Love and the fact that they could get themselves two kills, both Chachi and Exile played it's, that fight. It's almost like Jograth has been really good in this series. <laughs> Let's see what That's happens here. Ah, he actually pulled him out of that. That arrow would have hit. Yeah, it would have indeed. That's unfair. Well, still gets the assist from Reckless. Jez is 0, 1, and 6. six. Maintain a three and a half thousand gold lead, but Cataclysm is up for Soas. Flash. Flash. A moment or two. Rupture not going to get run, needed. So run. Soas looks for the dunk, manages to get it, manages to pick up the solo kill. Unfortunately, look like they ran onto that passive actually. Yeah, All that play to the Ruin King not going to help you that much. Is a good knock up there from Broxa. All right, Flash comes out as well. That's over the wall. Exile's looking for Caps. Petrifying Gaze stuns up Exile. He jumps onto Reckless, and Noxian Diplomacy won't be enough. This Jesus gets the 11th kill for Fnatic. The early lock of being a 0 2 series week. If Fnatic can close this out, and for Fnatic on the other hand, that's fast. They managed to guarantee themselves oh, spots nice. in playoffs. Their sentence onto Chachi. Chachi's able to slice and dice to safety. Although, Samex is able to take down Jezzes. It's a lot of damage down. Hillisang, he flashes forward. Manages to get the Glacial Prism down onto Soaz. All of a sudden, Fnatic <laughs> give up two kills. Yeah, but it's the cast the curse. You see some of these fights, but Fnatic won't let that happen. No, uh, they won't. Invisible target. They're pretty easy to find the center of that shadow. Okay. <laughs>
onto the tower and they get <laughs> taken an inhibitor. As Fnatic use their huge gold lead to open up the base. 27 minutes in. Fnatic they on the... get a 2-0. They're playing tomorrow as well against Misfits. If they can win that one, some these players are pretty close. But let's see here. Uh, uh, Renekton. Well, he's, he's already taken down. I think Broxa got that with the Feast as well. Good old shoe damage, ulti. I absolutely love this Miasma follow-up. Every single time from Caps, it just makes the pick potential so strong as Fnatic group up in the bottom lane. They're looking to break into the, the rest of the base of the Unicorns. And I'm even more excited about what this means for Fnatic. Reckless is playing meta AD carries. They've got the meta tanks on lockdown. And take a look at that. Hillis tank's locked down as well. Shadow Assault comes up. Exile instantly gets shut down. He takes Reckless with him. That will not be another deathless game for Reckless, but it's a triple kill for Caps, and Fnatic are pouring into the base. The Nexus turrets are the focus, and there is no Unicorns left to defend. Fnatic are four men strong. Stand and do a bit of a dance under the fountain, letting the Super Minions do the work for them. Shut down Vizichachi one last time. And Fnatic are one step closer to Paris. They're going to playoffs. I think we saw here in game two and game three.